my channel so today in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my 2017 makeup favorites I asked on Instagram what y'all would like to see as my first video happy new year by the way and most of you guys said that y'all want to see my makeup favorites of 2017 so here I am it's gonna be a very very long video let me tell you so it would be better if y'all get a snack, sit comfortably and enjoy watching this video. And also if y'all are not following me on Instagram, y'all should because I share very, very, very cool makeup looks, something regarding my life on Instagram. So do follow me there. So let's get started. The first product that I want to tell you guys that has changed my entire skincare routine is this face off white seed serum oh my god this has changed the way my skin looks i have such flawless skin it's just because of that and this is the only product that i actually use on an everyday basis as a moisturizer every single day this is bomb guys and it's very very good for oily skin type as well so yeah i love 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 this product and i think this is my fourth bottle yeah it's my fourth bottle so this gets a thumbs up from me. I'm still gonna use it every single day. I don't think I can ever replace this. I might if I try something new and it suits me, but as of now, this is like my go-to moisturizer. So that was the only skincare product that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm not that big on skincare. So now let's move on to the first makeup product. Let's talk about a primer. Now let me tell you, I've been looking for a primer for such a long time and I think I found my holy grail primer. This primer just launched like in the second half of the year, I think around October, November, I think so. And this is the next Angel Wheel primer. This is the perfect primer for me, guys. It does not make me oily whatsoever. My makeup lasts throughout the day. This is the best primer and this will it is gonna be very hard to beat this primer guys this primer i have used like my entire entire i think october november december like these three months this primer was the only primer that i used so in the foundation category i have three foundations yes i have three foundations i'm sorry but it's just the way it is now the one foundation that I can completely rely on every single day is this L'Oreal Matte Magique 12 Hour Bright Matte Foundation in the shade G3. I use this every single day, guys. Every single day. And this is the foundation that I'm wearing right now as well. I don't think any other foundation can be this good. It's a whipped texture. It's very, very lightweight, but you get a good coverage. It's like medium to full coverage foundation and you won't even feel like you're wearing foundation on your face it's that lightweight and it's best for an oily skin type of a girl and i am a super oily skin type of a girl so this has to be my number one favorite foundation then as you guys know smashbox released in india and i was very very excited to try this particular foundation this is a smashbox studio skin 15 hour wear hydrating foundation and i'm in the shade 3.15 now if i have to wear my foundation for 24 hours which i do sometimes this is the only foundation that i go for it's full coverage it's again very lightweight but it's pretty pretty you can say it's not that natural looking foundation it looks like you have applied foundation i do not mind that it looks completely good in pictures in pictures it looks amazing guys and this foundation is sweat proof oil proof everything proof you will not get oily whatsoever and there's a good shade range in the previous foundation the matte magic there are i think only three or four shades and that's a very very bad part about this foundation that is the only problem with this one but this foundation it's a little bit pricey but i'm totally willing to pay that price because it just works wonders for me so the third foundation that i absolutely loved the entire year was this ultime pro second skin foundation now this foundation actually surprised me let me tell you it's a full coverage foundation but it is so smooth looking on the face it literally feels like i photoshopped my face that's how beautiful this foundation looks it completely blows out my pores it sits on my skin so well 
and on top of that as you guys know i'm a oily skin type of girl this suits me perfectly only down part is that this is the darkest shade in the entire range i think so and yeah this is my shade so i don't think there are shades for deeper skin tones in this faces foundation faces please remove more shades this is a beautiful foundation guys and i absolutely love it now let's move on to powders first i'm going to talk about setting powders the setting powder that i absolutely love is this cover effects matte setting powder and this is in the shade medium now again cover effects just launched in india like in the last year and i had heard so many good things about this powder and let me tell you it did not it did not at all disappoint me it is worth the hype guys it literally blurs out my skin it blurs out all my pores and my entire face looks so smooth and secondly it's very very lightweight you won't even feel like you're wearing powder on your face it's beautiful guys the only down part is it's that it's very very expensive but i love this powder to bits so if you're looking for a good translucent powder and you want to make your skin look very smooth and very flawless this is the powder for you you guys will be very very surprised that i actually found a dupe for this very very recently like it has been like one and a half month or two months since i found a dupe that is the krylon setting powder guys and this is literally one fourth of the price of the cover effects one this is the krylon professional makeup translucent powder and this is in the shade tl09 this does the exact same thing as the cover effects powder it blurs out my skin it makes my skin look so smooth just like photoshop i love this powder again it's very very lightweight you won't even feel like you're wearing this powder and this is the powder that i'm wearing right now it is again very good for oily skin type of girls because it does not make me oily whatsoever it's not at all heavy and i absolutely love this krylon translucent powder to bits i think i'm going to get two three bags of of this because it's very very difficult to find this particular translucent powder now if i want to be very quick with my makeup i go ahead and apply compact powder and the only compact powder that i've used the entire year is this maybelline new york super fresh whitening compact powder in the shade shell you guys can see i've raved about this product my entire entire yo like literally i love this product i keep it in my purse every single day this is the product that i use to set my makeup if i am in a hurry or if i want to pat if i get a little bit oily this is the product that i go for now let's talk about brows if you guys have followed me on my channel you guys know how crazy i am about brows and these two products are like my everyday staple eyebrow products one is this cabraba benefit i love this product i use this every single day if i'm not using the other one and it's beautiful guys i love eyebrow pomades that is the only thing that i use on my eyebrows i just don't find eyebrow pencils that they don't exactly give me the bold eyebrows that i'm looking for so yeah this is an amazing eyebrow product if you all are into eyebrow pomades you all should totally try this one out it's beautiful and it comes with its own brush as well which is again very very good i think that is one of the best brushes for my brows till date i have not yet found a good eyebrow brush and the second product has to be my anastasia beverly hills debra pomade i love this to bits i have been using this since years and years and years and this is never going to get replaced it's such a beautiful beautiful product and it gives me the bold eyebrows that i need it gives me the hair like strokes that i need and you guys can see that it just looks beautiful and again it's very very it's waterproof guys if you even try to rub it it's still not going to come off at all even in water nothing you sweat you get oily it's not going to come out it just comes out with a makeup remover so yeah so let's talk about my favorite concealers one of them it has to be the la gold pro conceal this concealer i've used the entire year and i've gone through so many tubes of it it's a full coverage concealer it suits my skin type and i absolutely love it it's very very lightweight you guys should totally try this concealer out you guys will end up loving this concealer and this has never ever disappointed me it does not crease it does not crack whatsoever and it's very very affordable i don't think any concealer can replace this one and it has a huge shade range as well so that's a plus guys and the next 
concealer is this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This just launched in India, but I have been using this concealer since ages. And this is in the shade medium. And I'm so glad that it's finally launched here because you guys must be knowing it's a hassle to buy makeup, which is internationally available. So I'm so glad that Maybelline launched this in India. And it's a full coverage concealer. Again, it does not crease whatsoever. It does not crack. It does not make me oily. One of the best concealers. Again, an affordable option. And the last concealer that I have been using non-stop the entire year was a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Now, again, this is a little bit difficult to find and I've almost finished this concealer and I'm so, so sad and I'm hoping that Tarte releases in India because they have amazing products and Tarte Shape Tape has to be my favorite concealer. This goes in the number one list in the concealer field. But again, it's so very expensive and it's not available. So I cannot help it, but this concealer is bomb, guys. But the dupe for this concealer is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This does the exact same job. It has the exact same texture. So if y'all are looking for a good concealer, you know where to go. So now let's move on to eyeshadows. Eyeshadows are my favorite things. I buy so many eyeshadow palettes, guys. You have no idea but i have three palettes yeah i have three i couldn't choose one these three are the palettes that i use every single day so i'm gonna share this with you guys the first palette has to be i think if you guys have been following me since a long time you guys know which palette am i talking about comment in the comment box below did y'all guess it it is the makeup revolution i had makeup chocolate wise palette i have recommended this palette to everyone like crazy guys i love this palette to bits it has all the tones that i need every single day let it be a party makeup let it be a smoky eye let it be a natural makeup it has a bone shade as well so like this is a palette that everyone who loves makeup should have because this is a staple guys if you're looking for one palette this is the one you should go for. It's so pigmented. I'm just gonna swat some so that you guys know that this palette is amazing. Just look at the shade. It's so beautiful. They are so pigmented. Even the mattes are so pigmented and they are so easily blendable. Love this palette to bits. And again, it's very, very affordable. It's very easily available. You'll get it on Nykaa. And I cannot stop raving about this one at all. The next palette has to be this Pack Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Now this palette I use on an everyday basis. On an everyday basis I do not do such heavy makeup. I go for a very natural look. And this palette has all the shades that I need. All the brown shades that I need for a natural makeup look. And again, I know this palette is a little bit expensive. But I have been reaching for this so often the last year that I just had to mention it. This is... The palette that I go for every single time if I want a brown matte eyeshadow or if I want to go for a natural makeup look which is most of the times again they are very very pigmented very very buttery very easy to blend just look at the pigmentation guys it's insane just look at the pigmentation and they are so 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 buttery and they blend so well and the last palette I haven't mentioned this palette a lot on my channel, but there has to be a reason. It's not easily available in India. It's the Nubian by Juvia's Place palette. This palette is a dream for me, guys. I love this palette to bits. It is the most pigmented eyeshadow palette I have ever used. It's so buttery. It's so blendable. But the best part is that they're so pigmented. Like... Every single shade in this palette is beautiful and every single shade I use every single day. There's not one shade in this palette that I do not use. I'll show you the pigmentation. You guys are gonna be stunned. Even the mattes. Look at that. It's, it's like a dream, guys. Look at how smooth they are. Like, they are one of the most beautiful... One of the, these are the best eyeshadows, guys. If y'all can get your hands on it, do definitely buy this one. It's not that expensive. I got this one for 2,200 rupees because it was internationally shipped to me. But actually, this palette is just for $28. Love this palette. It's affordable, actually. So, yeah. Let's talk mascaras. Now, I have two mascaras that I have loved the entire year. 
the first half of the year i used to use the maybelline last sensational mascara this was my holy grail mascara i still love it to bits and it's very affordable it gives me the volume it gives me the length it gives me everything and i love this if you guys want a good mascara or if you'll have tried this mascara you guys know how beautiful this mascara is and the second mascara that i was using continuously in the second half of the year was this essence lash princess mascara i recently discovered it i ordered it on fluke from nika and i just did not expect this mascara to be this black it's one of the most blackest mascara that i've ever used it gives you volume it gives you length and it does not transfer it does not flake as well the maybelline one does flake a little bit but this mascara does not flake at all and it lasts all day it's not a waterproof mascara but even if you sweat it's not going to transfer on your eyes or under your eyes whatsoever and it's very very affordable it's just for i think 400 rupees and i actually ended up buying like three tubes just for backup because every single time this mascara is out of stock so yeah the only eyeliner that i use every single day is this nyx vinyl black liner it is one of the best eyeliners that i've used and i don't think i've ever used any other liner except for this one in the year in the past year and i think this year also it's gonna be this eyeliner itself this is the eyeliner that i'm wearing right now as well it's very very black it does not transfer it does not smudge it does not transfer in my eyelids up or below whatsoever if y'all are looking for a good eyeliner try this one out it is a brush tip so it is gonna be a little bit difficult to use at the start but once you get the hang of it you will end up loving this so that was all about the eyes let's talk about the face a little bit now you guys know how obsessed i am with bronzing up my face and let me tell you i found my all time favorite bronzer it has to be this maybelline master contour kit it just released last year in the ending of last year i know it can be called as cheating but i haven't put this bronzer down whatsoever it's so easy to blend this particular shade and this is in the shade medium to deep this is the perfect bronzer for me guys it is a perfect mix of brown and red as you guys can see i'm wearing it right now it blends so easily it's so beautiful you can cannot go wrong with this particular bronzer at all i'm telling you guys this is the perfect travel palette it has everything even the blush shade is so beautiful let me swatch it they're so buttery guys i cannot tell you and the highlighter itself is so blinding and it's a perfect shade as well this is a highlighter can you see how beautiful that highlighter is this is the bronzer shade again this matches me so perfectly and this is the blush shade now the blush is a little bit more on the shimmery side so it can be used as a topper so you guys must be knowing that i'm not that big on blushes but if i do want to use blush i usually go for a neutral shaded blush and if you guys have been watching me you guys know that the milani baked blush in the shade luminoso again this i purchased recently i use this every single day every single day i use this blush it's so beautiful it's like a perfect mix of peachy and warm tones and it is a little bit shimmery but it looks so very beautiful on the skin i love this blusher i use like it's my routine i go on with the maybelline master contour kit the bronzer from that then i use this blush and then i use the highlighter from the kit as well so i'll just swatch it here for you and you will understand the shade is so very pretty guys the shade it's a warm blush and i absolutely love it other than that there is another blush palette that i am obsessed with is it's this nyx professional sweet cheeks palette and it's sent it to me and i'm so glad that i got this blush palette i literally this entire blush palette has all the shades that you need your entire life this is my favorite shade by the way and this is a shade that i'm wearing on my face right now oh by the way 
keep a watch for this look i have filmed it and it will be up on my channel very very soon so anyway so the blushes are so perfectly aligned like all the shades there's a peachy shade there's an orangey shade there's a neutral shade there's a berry shade and there's a pink shade everything is there in this particular sweet cheeks palette and every single time i look at it i feel like applying this blush on my face even though i do not like blushes this makes me use it so you guys know that i'm obsessed with highlighters and one highlighter that completely impressed me and i use the entire year was this packed professional artist cosmetics baked highlighter in the shade 02 this highlighter is a dream guys it's it's so very pigmented and the shade is so perfect for me. It's a perfect mix of gold and champagne. It's a champagne-y, champagne based highlighter and it's so buttery. It's so, so blinding. This is the highlighter and let me swatch it somewhere. Actually, I'm going to just swatch it here because you guys are going to see how pigmented it is. Even, even though if I have swatches, that's how intense this highlighter is and again if you do not like an intense highlighter you all can completely go ahead and like apply very little bit of it and still it will look very very pretty but i am all about the blinding highlighter and i absolutely love this highlighter it's so 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 pretty i feel like applying it right now which i am gonna right now because there's nothing like too much highlight and you're gonna see I'm in any which way is wearing a very blinding highlight but I still want to layer it just look at that it's so pretty it's so 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 pretty I cannot get enough of this highlighter guys so I think we are pretty much done the only thing remaining is lipsticks and all but it's so very difficult for me to choose one lipstick I have so many of them which I love, but I'm just gonna tell you which lipsticks I have been using currently non stop so that you know you guys can get a flow what kind of lipsticks I like. And I'm gonna tell you guys that the last year was all about reds and nudes for me. I wore reds and nudes the entire year last time, and I'm still gonna continue wearing nudes. But I'm not sure about reds. Maybe I might still wear reds because they're just so, so, so attractive. Let me first start off with one shade that I always keep in my purse. It has to be the Nykaa Matalicious Lip Crayon in the shade Jade Rose. Previously, I used to love the shade Next Level Nude. But this one in particular, I love. It's not exactly a nude, but it's a mix of red and a dusky pink color and every single time i wear this particular shade i fall in love all over again and these are so comfortable to wear they are not drying whatsoever i'm just gonna show you this shade it's beautiful guys just look at that shade they are so creamy but they're so mad and they're so comfortable to wear the shade is always going to be in my purse now quickly let me tell you the other three shades that i have been loving one of them has to be the nyx nyx soft matte lip cream in the shade abu dhabi this shade i am wearing right now but it's mixed with pack honey bun so this is again a very very beautiful nudie shade i love the shade again this is one of the shades that is always in my purse. Love the shade. Very affordable as well. And the next shade has to be the Pack Retro Matte Gloss in the shade Chocolate Dip. Again, this is a nude. But this is more of a cool tone nude. And as you guys can see, the shade again is so beautiful. I love the shade. When I am going for a very natural look, this is the shade that I go for. And the last shade that I wanted to mention that I felt like I had to mention is this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Monte Carlo. This is a red and such a beautiful cool toned red, guys. And I think this shade has to be one of the shades that's going to suit every single skin tones out there. It's a perfect mix of blue bluish red you can say and i love bluish reds i do not tend to wear warm reds i feel like they're too 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 bright for me that is the reason i go for a more bluer 
toned reds so these were all the products that i have loved throughout 2017 and i think there are a lot of products that i'm still going to be using i hope that a lot of brands come with a lot of new different makeup products and i end up buying them because i love makeup any which ways let me know in the comment section below which was your favorite product and which products were your favorites in 2017 so yeah that's it for this video i'll see you all in my next one until then bye